I presume. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Hi. How was pleasure you here? In purely military terms, it was a brilliantly conceived plan. The Israelis managed to achieve complete tactical surprise and with an armoured brigade, smashed their way through a much larger Egyptian armoured division. On paper, at least, it was an idea which couldn't possibly have worked, and in this case, it probably wouldn't have worked had it not been for the fact that the Egyptians made a great tactical blunder. They brought the bulk of their reserve forces across the canal to the east bank. No, I don't agree because the Egyptians uh, think that they succeeded in this war. They think that they, if they have placed some uh, few hundreds of soldiers and tanks in the, in our bank of the canal. And then they think that this, this is a victory for them. And uh, when the Arabs think that they have won or they have a big victory, this, is in, this encourages them. And the next thing you'll know is that in a year or two, we'll have another war and more casualties. אוקיי, חבר'ה, אל תדאגו, זה יגיע עוד היום להורים. אני לא יודע, אלה ההוראות שקיבלנו, אנחנו הגענו רק שישית שומנה, אז אסור. There's a silence over the desert now, but a silence a few soldiers here believe will last more than a few days. They're very pessimistic about the prospects of peace, but this is understandable after the bitter and costly fighting of this war. But for every ten soldiers who believe the peace won't work, there are some who believe that the military situation is now perfect for peace 
for the first time ever. But whatever, these soldiers now have orders to stand by their tanks along this ceasefire line and wait for the politicians to work it out. Michael Nicholson, News at 10, in the Sinai Desert just south of Kantara.